no matter how many fragrances you have in your collection sometimes you just get stuck on a number of fragrances from your collection and that's all you want to wear and you just get obsessed so that's what's happening to me right now I've been wearing a number of perfumes from my collection just in the past few weeks and I just cannot stop reaching for them so that's what I'm going to talk to you about in this video hi my lovely people welcome to today's video in this video I'm going to talk about a few perfumes that I have just been wearing over and over and over again in the past few weeks. I actually went to Mexico, we went to Cabo on vacation. So few of them I changed out, a few of them during that time and some of them are still in this uh, lot too. But I'm talking outside the vacation and some of them even while on vacation. Some of them I haven't been able to put down you know I just keep wearing the same ones again and again so that's what I wanted to tell you about so this one actually came as a surprise to me I mean I wouldn't say a surprise but it was like kind of shocking how many compliments I got on this and so when you get compliments on fragrances you just kind of keep going back to them you know what I mean so that's what happened with this one this is Gossip Night by Gritti this one, you guys, got a lot of compliments on this one. It was kind of crazy, actually. So I went to my like hair removal appointment and the moment I checked in, they're like, oh my gosh, what are you wearing? You smell amazing. So that was one time. And then I got like two, three more compliments, one at work and one at the grocery store. Oh, this one, I'm trying to find a better way to describe this to you guys so mm, you know what this smells like actually there is like a ice cream kind of vibe in this is that what I would call it yeah it has a sort of a dessert ice cream kind of vibe there's definitely loads of like lactonic vibes in here um, there's definitely peach and you can smell the peach so it's like peach ice cream but with a load of caramelliness to it like sweet caramel mixed into it this actually has I mean if you really talk about the notes this actually has lychee in the opening mango blossom even heliotrope that's sort of like very interesting notes but that peach the caramel and the lactonic vibes which comes from the whipped cream they're the the most strong in this fragrance almost like it goes right away into the middle notes like so it, those three notes are in the middle so like the opening is there but it disappears immediately like dissipate into the middle notes almost immediately and then you have a load of vanilla in the base lot of musk you know and cashmere in, which is like a a note that smells like cashmere basically you know so it's very kind of I don't know how to describe it um it's like a peach ice cream wrapped in caramel and somehow kind of like delicious and cozy I don't know how to I don't know how to exactly convey the idea but this actually smells absolutely delicious it kind of uh, surprised me I say surprised me because I mean I looked at the notes and I see those notes in a lot of fragrances right so I didn't like expect it to be all that different or all that more compliment getting but it is it is compliment getting so if you're like a soft gourmet fragrance lover gourmet fragrance lover period you will love this okay but make sure you love peach you can smell it it's almost like peach ice cream like only like the sexy perfume version but very feminine this I would say is a completely feminine fragrance you guys I don't I can't really see a guy wanting to smell like this um, 
yeah, I, I, it just surprised me a lot. Like, in, you know, I have a lot of fragrances. I didn't expect to, it to garner that many compliments, but I got so many and I've only had this for not even like a month, maybe less. So the next fragrance, by the way, I'm using blotter cards today, you guys, because I don't want to, my baba to go out and I don't want to like spray on like a hundred different fragrances. You know, I promise to usually spray on my skin or clothes, but today I'm making an exception. Every now and then I would make an exception. This is Khalil T Kryptonite. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous powdery scent. Now, it's not just your average powdery scent at all. And it's also aldehydics. So those are the two main, mm, those are the two main accords you get. You get aldehydes and you get powdery. But there's also a beautiful almondy vibe in this tube. So it's, it opens up, in the opening it smells like a vintage, uh, beautiful, sweet face powder. And then, but only like very high and very sophisticated, not like mature at all, not in that way. And then it kind of gives, a, well, of course, the brightness and the gorgeousness of the aldehydes that just kind of is dripping with femininity in this fragrance. The combination of aldehydes and the powderiness in here really create, created this like very like beautiful feminine vibes. This is a unisex fragrance, but I think this smells really good on women um uh and then on the dry down it turns into this sort of almond like candied almond jordan almond kind of vibe in like as it dries down you know what i mean <sighs> so good you guys the powderiness of course comes from iris and i'm sure there are other powdery notes too so Oh, I forgot to mention. So for these two fragrances, no, actually I have more that I have discount codes for. I just realized. Okay, yeah, um, check my description box. Uh, there are discount codes that you can use to take some money off the, the those two and some other ones coming up. If, if I forget to say it, just check the description box. Okay, the next one that I haven't been able to sort of move away from that actually I took on our vacation and it was like a an awakening like so sometimes like have you had this happen to you like so you have like hundreds of fragrances if you have hundreds of fragrances like I do you kind of forget some of your fragrances even if you put them in the perfect display that you can see all of them there's just no way you can you know pay attention to every single one of the fragrances you have and this happens to me all the time and I I I forget to use some of the fragrances. Now that's what happened with this fragrance and not that I don't love it, I love it. I've talked about it so many times. And by the way, you need very little of this. You don't need to overspray this one. But this, you guys, is just like on, on our vacation. I took it on our vacation. And this was even before the vacation, but especially on vacation because we were by the poolside um, having drinks, this really kind of worked with that vibe, you know? This is, of course, Zerjaf Cruz Del Sur 2. This, you guys, is like the most delicious. Mm. This is the most delicious, one of the most delicious fruity fragrances I have ever smelled. Now, this doesn't smell, like I say it smells edible, but that doesn't mean it smells like food. Guys, I don't know where these, some people get this idea when, when, Fragrance reviewers say that something smells edible, that that they they automatically assume that you smell like food. No, 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 it smells like a perfume, but it smells like edible perfume, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, this, I don't wanna spray this, you guys. I mean, I like it, I like to kind of uh, conserve my button, and I, I don't even need to spray those either. I don't know, sometimes I feel like obligated to spray because some of you don't understand that I can actually smell really well right out of the atomizer. But anyway, this one is the most delicious, fruity, <sighs> lactonic thing ever. So this smells like one of those like cocktails or mixed drinks, like fruity mixed drinks that you make 
but you you have all these like mango and exotic like tropical uh, fruits in it blended but then you put like milk or something in it like that's like creamy or milk something that gives a little bit of like a milky vibe whether it's coconut or actual milk right so that's what it smells like it smells like mostly mango so there are lots of fruity notes in here i'm sure but i smell like mango stands out so this is like the perfect perfect perfume to bring on a tropical vacation any kind of warm weather vacation and especially if you're like having a spending a lot of time by the poolside which by the way if you spray this on and you go into the pool it's not going to wash off like it's you come out sometimes i feel like when i spray perfumes on and i get in the water and i come out i sometimes feel like it intensifies the perfume i don't know why like I can smell myself a lot more like when I come out of the pool. I, I, I don't know what that's all about. I don't know. Tell me if that happens to you too or am I just weird. Anyway, this is the ideal perfume to have like to wear to dinner by the poolside or have drinks by the poolside, tiki parties, you know, pool parties, like any type of thing. And like beach things, like anything by like water, you know in the summertime it's so delicious this has dried fruits in the dry down which i think adds the most unique sweetness to this like a very like fruity sweetness you know what i mean you know what dried if you put dried fruits in milk that's what the base of this fragrance smells like there's milk in this which is where you get the kind of the milky lactonic vibes so here's another one that I took on vacation unfortunately I feel terrible talking about this perfume because it's limited it was limited edition and it's been discontinued I'm so sorry about that now this one I am going to spray because it's a little bit harder to smell this one out of the atomizer oh okay this one you guys oh, yum 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 Another one kind of like Cruz del Sur too, but these smell very different. Uh, this is more like a mango, milky mango milkshake kind of like vibe, whereas this one is more like a pina colada vibe. So this one also has tropical fruits like pineapple. I think pineapple is what I smell the most in this one. There must be mango in here too, but there's coconut in here, okay, you guys? So this smells very like like a pina colada almost you know actually I, I was on vacation and I was having a pina colada by the poolside and I was wearing this perfume it was perfect and it was just like it was perfect and I actually did an IG story on that too so check it out if you don't follow me on Instagram make sure to follow me I, I put all the perfumes I wore as I wore them on Instagram okay on vacation and by the way if you miss my vacation vlog it's up on my channel check it out too I talked a lot about what we did and what perfumes I wore when I wore them I tried to do that so you guys can kind of share in our vacation okay so the next one I have just been obsessed with is this one this is the rose muscat I forgot the name for a second this is by Royal Crown Oh, this is such a beautiful gorgeous delicious fruity rose fragrance okay this is very unique in my opinion because mm, this has the melon note that's so yummy and with the melon the rose mixed with melon it's such a beautiful scent and the, the melony rose it's like very unique and there's a little hint of wood in, wood in here that's very clean wood not barnyard wood not like anything like that it's very clean crisp wood and oh it's just delicious i don't know what i was doing not wearing this again that's that was another one by the way i broke the top tip of it and i still haven't glued it back on royal crown bottles i love them they are so aesthetically pleasing but the problem with them is that little thing up here if you knock it even a little bit against something they it breaks right off it's like hanging on by a thread they need to like strengthen that design is kind of silly yeah. okay i have one other rose fragrance before i move on to the last two here so this one you guys is by joyu unique sensorial fragrance house 
The bottle is quite funky, quite fun, uh, luminescent green. This is called Rosamonda. This one is one of the most unique green rose perfumes I've ever smelled. Mm. I don't know how to put it into words. This is like a green rose perfume that has, how do I even describe that scent? There's like a green note here that almost smell like lemon leaves. Have you ever smelled lemon leaves? But if you were to, to combine the most intense rose notes. So it has a lot of really expensive ro rose notes like rose centifolia, Bulgarian rose. I think there are several different types of rose and rose absolute. And there is a green note in here that I, that I can't quite put my finger on. It's almost like lemon leaves, you know? Like a little bit of lemony vibe about it. And together it's so good. Such a very unique rose perfume. You know, it's not your average perfume, rose perfume. Um, oh yeah, did I, did I mention? Yeah, this I have a discount code for you also in the description box. I have been obsessed with that one too. I've been wearing it a lot, but pretty soon here I'm gonna have to move away from these very summer oriented perfumes. All of these are perfumes that I wore in the summertime. And then this one right here. This actually, you know, like it's amazing how I overspray this and I still don't use a lot of it. This is the uh, Vinnie West Indies by uh, Saint Barth. This one is a beautiful vanilla that's there's a caramel note in here you guys it almost makes it smell like like a like a dessert like a almost like an ice cream dessert almost I feel like I want to say there's almost like a lactonic quality to this too but but mainly it's like the milk that goes into caramel I'm sure it's not like a very strong lactonic vibe but it's a caramelly vanilla perfume okay I mean can you imagine how delicious that is Oh, been obsessed with it. Um, I get hung up on a vanilla every, every like, yeah, every summer. Speaking of hang, getting hung up on vanillas, this is a vanilla I couldn't stop reaching for. I actually forgot to bring the nectar version of this down. This is M. Mikulaf Vilang in Gold. This is the tropical vanilla that I haven't been able to put down. I took the nectar version of this. This is the Langen Gold, the original, and then there's the Langen Gold Nectar. That I took on vacation. The only difference between this and that is the nectar version is a little bit more intense and potent and has a higher dose of musk. It's a little bit musky, whereas this is purely just very tropical vanilla -y, okay? Mm. It's a tropical vanilla, you guys. It, it it actually has like little tiny like specks of gold shimmer. So when you spray it on your collarbone here, you know, like let's say you wore it to the beach or like on a tropical vacation, you go in the sun, it starts to glisten. And this is such a delicious vanilla fragrance with tropical notes in it. I believe there's even coconut in here. Absolutely divine, okay? I do have my usual discount code with M. Mikulaf. For that one if you guys want to get it and, and Mikulaf is always so generous when you order from them they throw in like this huge like you know like deluxe bottles of perfumes in there not even samples like actual 30 mil right sometimes and then they put like travel size ones and and they come in these little pouches and they throw in like samples and stuff it's always amazing now this one is actually technically that this should be a almost kind of fall time fragrance but I tell you what though this really works well at night in the summertime as a date night fragrance or out to dinner night out kind of fragrance this is sugar leather by Unui Nomad I guys this one yum 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 um mm, I believe this has um can't this is very sweet sugar leather duh right it's a sweet leather fragrance but the leather in here is so smooth and luxurious there's caramel i believe in here is what gives that sugary sort of sweet vibes and then of course that gorgeous gorgeous leather 
Oh my gosh, this is very intoxicating. My husband loves this too. By the way, did I mention he loves basically all these fragrances a lot. Um, yeah, I've been wearing this summer nights almost like every week. So for the past few weeks, it's such a good perfume. So then next I have here, The Chronic. This is another beauty, you guys. These are all actually, not all. I have like several old ones here. I was gonna say, yeah, I have half of them are old, half of them are, half of them are new additions. This is The Chronic by Byron Parfum. You guys, this one, oh, it's also a beautiful sort of white florally gourmet fragrance. And this, you guys, is another gorgeous kind of gourmet fragrance, but it has like a, a level of luxurious sophistication to it. I don't know how to put it quite. I, I swear it smells like white florally to me. There are some white florals in here that are absolutely divine. I want to say orange blossom. I, have, I feel like I smell orange blossom and a bunch of other white florals. Might be tuberose. Although it's not revealed in the composition, I don't think. And there's a good amount of amber in here. I can smell that. There's a little bit of spiciness, a little hint of it. And sensual sandalwood in the dry down. Musks for sure. It's beautiful. I have been wearing this at nighttime. This and sugar leather I've been wearing a lot at nighttime. And the rest of them during the day. Yeah, all of the rest during the day. Yeah. And these two have been like kind of my nighttime, summer nighttime fragrances. Except when I was on vacation, I took uh, mostly like really tropical ones with me. Uh, but yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Whew, now I need the Chronic Extreme, <laughs> right? Next. Okay, yeah, you guys, those are some of the fragrances lately I've been obsessed with. I've just been loving them a lot. You know, it's so funny. I've been wearing them so much. Like, I'm, I'm an over-sprayer too, and I hardly ever put a dent into it. Like, well, some of them are actually getting a good dent, but... But it's weird, like they're so potent that you don't have to spray too much. And I remember when I sprayed on Gossip Night and a couple of these other ones, my husband's like, oh boy, I can smell you like from a mile away. So yeah, don't overspray some of these perfumes. You don't have to. By the way, this one is a very innocent looking one. You have to be careful with like you think, oh, it's such a light fragrance. It, I could just douse myself with it. No, this projects. This project, this is one of the ones that actually when you come out of the water, when you wear it and you come out of the water, you can smell it even more. I don't know why. I don't know why. Is it because it like mixes with your chemistry more? I don't know. Water activates something? I, I don't know. But anyway, what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comment section. What do you think of these things? Am I justified in being obsessed with these right now? What have you been wearing this summer? Let me know down in the comment section and I'm gonna have to say goodbye to these. Well, some of these. I actually have, can continue to wear Sugar Leather and The Chronic um, all throughout fall and winter too. And I actually will wear Kryptonite in um, winter. I definitely will. Oh, actually, I can actually wear Gossip Night too if I wanted to. But yeah, well, some of the, the other ones here are very like summertime fragrances. You know what I mean. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok, which helps me out a lot. Commenting on my videos is the number one way you can support me, you guys. It really, really does make a difference because it's... Well, first of all, I, I get to hear from you and understand whether you like something or not and your thoughts, your feelings about perfumes. This is like what I go off on, you know, like your thoughts and your feelings and what you're, you know, because it's a, this is a platform for sharing, right? And then also it helps me with my engagement on my channel. So I really appreciate those of you who actually take time to comment. And I always remember you guys, uh, those of you guys who comment uh, and is especially appreciate a lot when you do comment. I will see you guys in my next video.